Want to go to a car show and don't know where to go? Just look it up on cliffscalendar.com. It has a list of majority of the shows in the tri-state area. It is run and operated by Larry Troth, who is also the owner and operator of All Wired Up Auto Wire. So if you need some wiring done on your classic car, your muscle car, just give them a call. All Wired Up Auto Wire. Today we got a good show, let me tell you. We're going to have Steve here with his 1969 Camaro and his Hugger Orange with white rally stripes. Not many cars could get away with that, but in 1969, the Camaro did, and boy, it is outstanding. We're going to go right to Steve in a minute. Just want to let you know that if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and smash that like button. Also, the 13th of July through the 15th of July is the Camaro Nationals. There's usually an outside car show and an inside judge show. It will be held at the Morgantown Auto Mall. There is at least 400 cars inside also, and it's air conditioned and it's really nice. And coming up next week, we have Fred's cool 1963 Cadillac and Ken's 65 Corvette. So we're going to have them guys come up and we have a lot more after that. So have a good day and enjoy the video and smash that like button. make me irresistible to men. Steve's 1969 Camaro. Scene one, take 35. I hear a rumble coming down the road. It must be Steve with his 1969 Camaro. Yes, it is. Sounds good. This is that 350 Rumble. Hey gang, we're here today with Steve with his Super Sport Camaro. In 1969, they came out with Hogger Orange. Not many cars could get away with that, but let me tell you, the Camaro did in it was one sweet deal. Steve, thanks for coming over and sharing your car with us. Harry, I appreciate the opportunity to be here well, on Harry's Hot Rod Garage, man. All right, man. Well, I appreciate it very much. Yeah. We're going to look at Steve's car. We're going to do a walk around. Maybe I can entice him to take us for a little ride in a little bit. Okay? Sure. Hey, Steve, so tell me a little bit about the car. How long have you had it and where did you get it? Harry, I bought this car in 2015, March of 2015. I had just retired and I said, I want to treat myself. So this was my retirement present to myself. And it's that car that I wanted in high school that I couldn't get. Yeah. So I'm kind of fulfilling a dream by buying it. It's a good so dream. I bought it from a gentleman in Connecticut. Dale went up with me to look at this car. And man, we crawled all over it for an hour or more looking at it. And it was a good car, Dale said. And I trusted him very much in his judgment. And uh, the guy that I bought it from had it for 10 years. And his brother-in-law, who was out on the West Coast, had restored this car. So... You know, he bought it, had a trailer home, another buddy trailed it home for me. And I drove it for about a year. And I said to Dale one day, I said, I want to put a, a stick shift in this because it was an automatic. And it's the only thing I really didn't like about it. 
Dale says, no problem, we can do that right here in the garage. So, but he says, let's do it right. We tore the whole front end off. We took the fenders off, the hood, the whole front end. He says, let's pull out the engine, get the engine checked out, and then we'll change the transmission. Well, when we took everything apart, we found all this rot underneath what they call the tulip panels here. I mean, there were holes big enough you could put both your fists through them. Oh boy, wonderful. So that made us think, well, what else did this guy do or didn't do during his restoration? Yeah. So that really turned into a long story short, a total nut and bolt restoration. We had everything off of this car except the trunk lid. And we had the engine checked out and it was tired. So we wound up getting another engine, which we'll get into a little bit later. But we got a five-speed, Tremec five-speed, made it up to the new engine. And probably 90% of it was done right in my garage. With, you know, Dale being a major contributor to it and other people. I mean, Harry, you were over a few times. And, you know, I met a lot of nice people through doing this project. Oh, you do. The car community itself is where I met a lot of friends. And um, it's about the cars, but it's more about the friends and the people you meet. But what I'm saying is that you meet so many nice people and you have that's, a lot that's in common. That's the best part of it, really. Absolutely. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Well, I wouldn't have met you if it wasn't for yeah, cars. You that's know. right. That's right. Okay, we're going to walk around here. Check us out. I'll tell you, I love these Kreger mags. They're all new brakes, stainless steel brake corporation. All oh, okay. Brake, stainless steel. Okay. And, uh, but yeah, I wanted to keep it old school with the Kregers. You know, the white letter tires. I just think it yeah. looks better. Oh, than they the do. Brakes, it so. looks us. Just love them Kregers. Mm -hmm. Boy, all the chrome looks new. Did you replace most of the chrome, Steve? The bumpers, Harry, were as I bought it. The drip rails were put on. There were no drip rails on it. It was painted. Uh, I like but the I drip rails. I wanted to bring rails. them back to the chrome. So, yeah. 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 The back end of this car is so neat looking. Especially that license plate. <laughs> good looking guy you got there. Sure is. I don't know who he is, but he's a good looking guy. Some movie star. <laughs> now, the car looks beautiful. Thank you. Here, rear end in it, Harry. We had it all rebuilt. Oh, by okay. A guy that specializes in Chevrolet rear ends. He works for a Chevrolet dealer. And, uh, okay, Steve, show me this engine. Yeah, I'd be glad to, Harry. Boy, look at this thing. Holy mackerel. Yeah, this is a. Again, it's not the original engine. Of course, the engine that was in here when I bought it was not the original engine anyway. Oh, okay. But this is a 350. It was built by Dina Performance. Um, it was stroked out to a 383. It's got aluminum heads, Airflow Research heads on it. Uh, Holly 750 double pumper, Edelbrock high rise manifold. It's got the billet pulley system on the front. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, it's an original air car. Oh boy, yes. If you, if you take notice, Harry, you can see that what we did, and again, this is Dale, because he's a perfectionist. We ran all the lines under the fender. Yeah, so that you way don't you see it off and stick it really out. neatens it up. Yes. Oh, it sure does. Mm -hmm. So you got power brakes, power steering. Yep. Really cool. Mm -hmm. That's pretty neat on your radiator hose. That way you can keep an eye on your antifreeze, huh? Yeah, yeah, you can see exactly. I like that. I've never seen that before. Whatever, so yeah. Well, well, I shouldn't say I never saw it. I did see it on Dale's. 60 Falcon. Yes. It's very and nice. That's where we got it from. That's okay. <laughs> so, heavy yeah, dual electric fans. Heavy duty radiator. Mm -hmm. Did you have this on a dyno? Yes. Oh, where, yeah. did you, where did you have it on a dyno at? Tommy Casper at Casper Performance up in Westville. Oh, okay. Did some work for me on the car and he had it on the dyno and uh, it dynoed about just about 500 horsepower. I think that's more so, than enough to go to cruising. Absolutely. Absolutely. One of the biggest problems we had was getting headers to fit this. Oh boy! Going around the steering, yes. and uh, the air conditioning over here. Well, good thing I, I see that you you put the Tramic in, and you also put in on um, hydraulic clutch, hydraulic, didn't you? Yes. Uh -huh. Because I don't see no Z bar in there. Nope, hydraulic. So I give you a little bit more room, and that's probably easier anyway. Now on oh, your yeah. foot, on yes. your left leg, and everything else. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, when that's all you had, it was <laughs> fine. But now, right. Right. I mean, you got to face it, we are a few years older than we were back mm -hmm. in 69. <laughs> yeah, it, it makes a difference. It, it feels, sure does. Yeah, so very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, Steve, let's check out the interior here. All right, Harry. Well, from the way it looks, it looks like everything's fairly new. Tell me about it. Well, the car came originally with just black vinyl interior. And I wanted the houndstooth interior put into it. So we had the seats all stripped put in new foam new springs of course the new covers on 
Uh, there's new carpeting, there's new seat belts, the dash pad is new, the gauges are all new, the console's been all refurbished. Oh boy. Now there's a new radio, there's a new steering wheel over there. It's a tilt wheel. How nice is that? Boy, it does look brand new. It's all new steering column. It's tilt wheel too, huh? Yeah. Yep. Oh boy, you got it's a uh, flaming, flaming river. Steering, oh, okay. Steering column. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. Your back seat, nice. Mm -hmm. Everything. Boy, it looks brand new. And yeah. the carpet. What do you have under the carpet? There's lizard skin. It's a uh, product that you spray on. We sprayed it underneath the car for heat abatement and sound abatement. So there's two layers underneath, and we also sprayed it inside. For the same purpose oh boy so, cool yeah and it's a good insulator very yes. nice mm -hmm. now um what's this little light on the side of your console i see it's just an indicator that the battery is on oh okay yeah. and that, what are these it's, two little lights by your shifter pattern there well the one to the left tells me when the fans come on it lights up blue okay the one to the right lights up orange when i put it in reverse oh okay so i know that it's in reverse great yeah oh boy how yeah. nice Everything looks so so darn nice, I'll yeah. tell you. And there's one more thing on the package shelf back there. Yeah, what is that? That's a third brake light. What a good idea because yeah. a lot of people are not paying attention when they see a 69 Camaro and now at least something else will be in their eyes, you know? Right, Let right. Let them know that you're slowing down. Yeah, how nice. It's yeah. hard to see through the window, but uh, I saw it from the inside. Yeah, how nice. It's set too low by itself, so we had to have a base made and then we had it covered. And, how nice uh, is that? That's a really good idea. Very yeah. good idea. Mm -hmm. The dash was all repainted, stripped down and repainted. You know, oh, okay. The dash. But, and you have a, what's that, AM, AM stereo? Yeah, AM, FM radio. AM, FM. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, we used to say AM, AM. We never listened to them anyway. We like to listen to the pipes. That's right. Wind is down, pipes. That's it. Absolutely. Well, it's absolutely new beautiful. Soul. Yeah, new silk plates, yep, everything. New plates, yeah. Mm -hmm. Brand spanking new. How nice. Yeah. Well, Steve, you have a really nice ride, and I'm sure you, that you enjoy it. I do, Harry. Absolutely. It's great. Okay, let's take this baby for a ride, Steve. All right, Harry. Boy, that 350 sounds good. Yeah. Right back in your seat. Oh, yeah. 